What's going on, Cover Killer Nation? To proceed this video, I just want to say, pardon my voice, if it were to happen to trail off. It is very tired, though I am very not. It is a great day for music today. It's a great day, especially for 80s New Wave. I'm here to do a concert review. It's a great day for that as well, considering we're revitalizing the Cover Killer Concert Review series. Because tonight was a night with the psychedelic furs. Now, this was a concert that I attended with my girlfriend that was held in a lecture hall. So yes, instead of like metal show where you're just all standing in one location and listening to your favorite metal band destroy your eardrums and potentially getting involved in a mosh pit with a bunch of douchebags that you just want to punch in the face, uh, we're all sitting down. Well, at least until the music started. Whenever the music started, everybody was standing and... In fact, a lot of the women were dancing, and some men too. So, so this is a really, really cool little experience. Definitely not typical to what you would consider uh, to be the norm for Cover Killer Nation or even for concerts in general. This is something very unique. Uh, this was about an hour and a half long show. It was very, very good. Ex absolutely. Uh, these guys are just essential members of the 1980s that uh, you definitely need to listen to uh, if you are fans of John Hughes movies such as Pretty in Pink. Uh, the Breakfast Club and things like that, then these guys are household names to you. You know you know the Psychedelic Furs, and you know them very well. They performed all their standard hits and also threw in a couple of really nice little treats uh, within their ranks as well, just to make uh, really this concert event being a an encapsulation of their career in one hour and uh, 30 minutes. Uh, this is unlike last year, where on their tour last year in 2011, they performed uh, their 2000, or excuse me, their 1981 album, Talk, 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 in its entirety. They didn't uh, go into the 1982 album and play that in its entirety. However, it was instead an encapsulation, literally an evening with the Psychedelic Furs, reflecting on their storied career. Uh, just gotta say right now, their woodwind player is a fucking beast. And his name is Mars. Mars Williams. He's just got so much charisma. This guy was essentially the highlight for me. Uh, was definitely him. And he just has so much energy and he is so damn good at what he does. Whenever he would finish playing a piece, you would just hear the crowd start exploding into applause and, you know, cries for you know, cries of favor and things like that, and there's just a huge cult following for this band still to this day, and you saw people dressed in pink to literally go with the pretty in pink, but there was also a lady who was violining outside of the of the arena, so to speak, violating out in front of the lecture hall who was trying to get a ticket in, and the show was sold out, but yet she was still able to find her way in because uh, not all of the seats were filled, and, you know, people bail and things like that, but she was able to find a ticket, which was really awesome, and she was a huge Psychedelic First fan, uh, big enough to the point where she was out there playing violin just to try to get into the show, so that was really cool. There's there's also three guys in the front row where if you're listening and watching this video, guys, you guys were very entertaining, and your fanhood, I mean, plain and simple, you're probably the biggest Psychedelic First fans in this area, let alone you know, perhaps nationwide, because you guys were just into this, you know, you guys were just going nuts, so I gotta give you a lot of credit, and, you know, you just made this enjoyable, everybody made this enjoyable, from the fans that were in the crowd that were dancing around, or, you know, mouthing every single lyric right back at uh, the boys in the band, uh, to the band themselves, who were obviously just putting on just an amazing show, full of charisma, full of energy, you know, Sometimes you wonder if a band that hasn't been making studio records since 1991, you know, comes live, whether or not they're going to have anything really to offer aside from just going through the motions and that being that. That certainly is not the case with the Psychedelic Furs. If they come to your area, definitely go and check them out and you will bear witness to this fact being true. They still have a ton of energy and a lot of drive and a lot of passion. They were just up there having a blast having fun. They didn't have to worry about any sort of pressures or anything like that. They The only thing they had to worry about was putting on a good show, and that's what they did. Psychedelic first show, gotta say, this is a first for me, but hopefully not a last whatsoever. I would love to see these guys again. I recommend that you guys see them, uh, because even though it's not metal, that doesn't mean shit, because we all listen to music outside of metal, at least we admit it, you know, those of us who admit it. And uh, these guys are definitely a great addition to the repertoire uh, for music lovers 
anywhere. So, definitely highly recommend this. Take care, guys. And next time, whenever we're here on the Cover Killer Concert Series, it'll be in about a week and a couple of days, whenever we're talking about the Hunter Tour, Mastodon, Opeth, and Ghost. Can't wait to see you then. Peace.